Hey, what is going on you guys? I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a mod for Minecraft 1.3.1. This will probably work for 1.3.2 and so on until 1.4 comes out. So if there is an update, I will update the video. If not, just keep on the video. If there's an update, I'll put an annotation like right here or something. But for now, just if like I'm saying 1.3.1, but if you're watching this and there's like 1.3.3, if the video hasn't been updated, then this version still works so you can still do this so let's talk about what we'll first need we will need uh minecraft coders pack which is right here you're gonna go down and find releases then find the version that you were at and then click it but you're gonna need 7-zip to open it so just download 7-zip which is like an archiving program shows you what to do and stuff and yeah once you've downloaded that you extract it to a folder on your desktop make it called like minecraft curse pack or whatever you want and yeah like what i did on my desktop i'll show you right there okay so now what you're going to want to do is download java development kit 7 uh don't download this one don't download the sample obviously download this choose what version you have like if you have mac download the mac version if you have windows times 86 is 32 bit times 64 is 64 bit so Find out what version of what bit computer you have by right clicking computer, going to properties. Alright, so now that we're, well, now we're going to download uh, Notepad, and once we have that, we're finished with the download. So, yeah. Okay, so in my previous methods, we could have used Eclipse, but you can use Eclipse, but you can use Notepad too. So, like, let's say we have a text document. And we'll rename it to a like we'll do this and then we'll save it and then let's just rename it to a dot lol document like, it doesn't matter as long as it's see it it'll turn white because you can't open it but what you do here you right click it you click it once and you click edit with notepad plus plus it'll show you the text in here so basically that's what Notepad++ does. It'll show like hidden coding within documents that you can't normally use. Okay, so once you have all of those things downloaded, you want to get your, go into percent app data percent, go into your roaming, go into your Minecraft, and I already put mine, but don't like here. Here you would want to put your bin and your resources folder in here in the jars section the reason why i don't have mine was because i deleted mine and minecraft if it shows up it's not okay minecraft isn't um the servers are down right now so i wasn't able to download it but i still have it in here which is good so that's all we need you need your don't take your bin in your resources copy them and put them in here okay so now we will decompile it and this is probably the longest part this is probably i don't know it'll take like about 230 to 330 seconds do the math there if you want but that's probably the estimated time it'll take so i will pause the video and i will unpause once it's finished all right i'm back and it is finished press any key to continue and you'll notice once you decompile it you'll have all of these folders now so the way to go now is to click on the source folder minecraft net minecraft source and you have all these folders so we are going to want to look for the crafting manager if it's here Here it is, craftingmanager.java, right click it, edit with notepad++. And you'll notice all of these recipes, and you want to go right before the add shapeless recipes and add a space. And copy one, like the bed one, that's what we did last time. And paste it. Never use spaces, use tabs. Okay, so... What this is saying is, 
this dot add recipe new item stack item bed one. Um, this recipe will give you like one bed, and yeah, <laughs> pretty much the only way I can explain it. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah. So we're gonna change that to item dot diamond, and then we're gonna make that sixty four. Okay. So this part is saying that how to make how the recipe is made. So we're saying that you we're using cloth and planks to make sixty four diamond in the fashion of three cloth on the top and three planks under the cloth. So it can either be in the middle or at the bottom. So we're going to change that to block dot dirt. And we're going to change this to block dot planks. So we're going to, we're saying that three dirt on the top and three planks under the dirt will make 64 diamond. So yeah, that's what it says like the number sign is dirt and the X is planks. So that's basically how you do it pretty quick. You can either press this button or press control S and then you want to make sure you click this X button here, then it, this X button. Then you want to go all the way back in your Minecraft coders pack and click on recompile. This part is pretty quick. So yeah, I'll just unpause when it's done. Alright, now that's finished. 30 seconds, doesn't take long at all. Uh, now you want to click on Start Client after you've recompiled it. So, recompiling it, now we start the client. If you're making a server mod, you would click Start Server. So this basically starts a client in debug mode, but debug mode is very laggy, because like the reason it's lagging now is because I'm rendering the video and I'm recording, but normally it was, it's like, even if you're not recording, you have a pretty decent computer, I have a pretty decent computer, and it lags, like, not a lot, but when you're recording it lags a lot, a lot, so yeah, and you'll see it's like preparing the spawn area as if you're playing on a server, and there we go. I'm just change the options here so we can actually see what we're doing. See, it's already like lagging, like getting like two frames. Okay, still gonna be really laggy, but um, we just spawned in the middle. So we needed three dirt. Okay, this is very laggy. I'm just turn sound off for the sake of the lag. Two, three, and the items don't drop. Items aren't drop. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna unpause when I get the materials. Or I'm gonna, yeah. Okay. Now, it seems like it's not lagging. See, it's not lagging a lot anymore. Still a bit of lag, but not a lot. So, now we go put our crafting table down. And I think we did it like this. It was like a bed. And here we go. Three dirt plus three planks. It can be any planks. Doesn't matter if it, what color it is. Um, gives you 64 diamond and there you go but you're not done yet remember that you want to save well you don't want to save I don't know why I did that but you want to click quick game and now you want to re-obfuscate it basically this is making it like you just tested your mod and now that you know your mod works you are going to re-obfuscate it you're going to make your file into an actual class file that can be available to the public like you can actually give a download link for your mod now. Like you can, yeah. That's basically what I'm saying. Like your mod is now a file and re-obfuscating it makes it a file that people can put into their Minecraft and use it in their Minecraft. So yeah, it's pretty fast. 
um, it'll say like what it'll notice like oh crafting manager Java has been edited therefore this is gonna this is probably the mod that they're making press any key to continue and then go into the reop folder Minecraft and the class that you've edited should be right here there you go you can put it in your resources folder or you can put it in your uh, minecraft.jar to use it in your actual Minecraft for the people that um, have errors I'll put this in the description just in case you want this mod it's not really a mod it's just a recipe but I'll put it in the description either way uh, I'll put all the download links in the description hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any problems don't feel like don't forget to comment don't forget to comment what you've pro what your problem is and I should it's really easy to fix these like normally the errors in this are really slim unless you like deleted a whole Java file or something but anyways Thanks for watching guys, peace.